Hi everyone, tonight I'm going to be making everything bagel quiche. What all goes into everything bagel quiche? One pie crust softened as directed on box, two tablespoons everything bagel seasoning, four ounces from an eight ounce package of cream cheese softened, four eggs, one cup half and half, eight slices fully cooked bacon, heated, coarsely chopped, about two thirds of a cup, one half cup chopped Roma tomatoes, equivalent of one medium, and I've already got these chopped, one fourth cup sliced green onion, one and a half cup shredded mozzarella cheese, about six ounces. So let's begin. Preheat your oven to 375. Take your refrigerated pie dough crust and unroll it. I had let this get room temperature for about a half an hour. Now you don't need to roll it out any to make it bigger. Take your everything bagel seasoning and sprinkle it all over on the pie crust. And you just want to do this on one side. Then take your rolling pin and just roll it over the pie crust just to get the seasoning into the pie shell. Like so. Take your pie pan. Put the dough in the pie pan with the seasoning side up. Kind of scallop the edges. Like so. And set that aside until it is ready to go into the oven. Now we didn't prick the bottom of the the pie shell, we're not supposed to. We'll stick this in a preheated 375 degree oven for 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, I took it out. If it puffs up in the middle, just take a metal measuring cup and push it back down. Then we'll let it cool for 10 minutes. So while that's cooling, take a large bowl, dump in your cream cheese, take an electric mixer and mix that until on medium speed until it is nice and smooth. Next, beat in the eggs. It doesn't say, but I'm doing them one at a time. And I always scrape down the side to make sure I get all of the cream cheese down there and kind of go on the bottom too. And it's important that it's fully mixed in. Then add the one cup of half and half and mix that until fully incorporated. So the crust has cooled for 10 minutes. Next we'll take our eight slices of fully cooked bacon chopped and layer it on the bottom of the crust. The next layer will be the tomatoes. And that was a half of cup.
The next layer is going to be the fourth a cup of green onions chopped. Neither Dave or I have ever had a quiche. We won't have anything to compare this with. But it looks good so far. Then the one and a half cups of mozzarella cheese goes on top of the bacon and the veggies. And my pie shell kind of sunk down just a little bit, so I always seem to do that. I don't know what happens. All right. Then the last thing we're going to do is evenly pour the egg mixture onto the cheese. And put the quiche back in the 375 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes until done. And you test that by sticking a knife in the center and having it come out clean. All right, so it'd been in the oven for 33 minutes. Let's see if it's done. Can it come out clean? We'll let it cool for 10 minutes and then we'll dish it up. So here is the everything bagel quiche topped with bacon, tomatoes, and green onions. Rounding out the meal is a salad. Let's see what Dave thinks. This looks like a egg pie or something. It's everything bagel quiche. Quiche. That's an egg pie, right? Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> I haven't ever tried it before. So. It's actually pretty good. I like it. Recipe deals for easy meals. Please like, subscribe, and share. This is Cooking with Sherry. Until we meet again.